Hello friends, this video on matrices part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. A trust fund has 30,000 rupees that must be invested in two types of bond. The first bond pays 5% per year and the second one pays 7% per year. Using the matrix multiplication, we have to determine how to divide 30,000 key amount and there is a condition that the total interest obtained is two case, one case 1800, second case 2000. I'll do one, you can do the other one. So let me do this one. And the question says you must use matrices. Because the matrix chapter, you use matrices. If you don't use matrices, this is very, I mean, you can, without using matrices also you can say that if you divide the multi amount in such way that you have X and 30,000 rupees, minus x we have two bucket one guy gives you five percent and the other gives you seven percent correct the total will be 1800 rupees and we define the value of x that's one equation we have we can find the value of x but now we have to use matrix so how can we represent this data now we have this money as 500 i mean x and 30,000 X because we divide the money in two parts. One part is X and the other part is 30,000 X. So this can be represented, this particular piece can be represented in this form X and 30,000 minus X. This is one form where you have one, two horizontal and one vertical, two cross one vertex. Or I can represent the same data in this fashion also X. 30,000 minus minus. that is one cost. So that is my representation of data of amount, the money invested. The second is the interest payable. Now the interest is I can, is 7 and 5% given. So I can refer in this fashion 7 and 5, there is 2 cross 1 or 7 comma 5, 2 cross 1. So they had, sorry, this is one cross two, one horizontal two vertical. So I have this data in this fashion. So if you observe, this guy is nothing but money invested, and this guy is nothing but interest. So one thing you know that return or interest return, interest return is nothing but money invested money invested into this interest percentage interest percentage this thing you know logically see the money interest interest money return interest return nothing but the money invested into here also we've done the same thing so we have this uh, this is the money invested interest you multiply this you get the total money you add this so here also we will do the same thing, we will multiply the money investment matrix with the interest matrix. Now, now we have to choose actually. So now the difficult part, the difficult part is, see the money invested matrix I have in the form of 2 cross 1 or 1 cross 2. And the interest I have in the form of 2 cross 1 and 1 cross 2, but the final money return is one cross one matrix only because that value is 1800 rupees and that guy is one cross one matrix. So I have to multiply the matrix in such a way that I get one cross one matrix. Please note it's little critical here because see what happens is if you multiply this money invested with this interest, you won't be able to multiply only. Why? Because this guy is two cross one and this guy is two cross one. The tail of this is 1 and the head of this is 2 is not matching. So you won't be able to multiply only. Correct. So that means if you take this as the or if you represent money invested in this fashion, you can't represent interest in this fashion for this particular question. Because in that case it is not multipliable, you can't multiply this. So if you take this as let's suppose my money invested and let's suppose you multiply with this interest 
you can multiply now because it is one and one the head of this and tail of this are matching correct this guy and this guy is matching but the output matrix you get is two cross two that is again not a scenario here in our scenario the output matrix is one cross one so you can't even multiply in this fashion so what we'll do so this matrix is not possible to take we can't take this matrix if you take this matrix and multiply with this is it multipliable yes and what is the final output one cross one so we can take this matrix and this matrix if you take this matrix we can't even take this matrix why because this is two this is one it's not multipliable so the only two matrix we can take is this and this and multiply in this fashion please note this is one possible option there are, there are multiple other possible option but this is one possible option if we take this matrix i mean we are trying which option is possible this is one possible option where you multiply this is a and this is b let's suppose so a b is possible so i'll write a b is possible somewhere here a b is possible Please note B is not possible. If you take B A, if you multiply this with this, you get two into one into one cross two. That becomes two cross two matrix, final matrix, because this is two and this is two. So A B is possible, one possible option. Similarly, if you take this guy, you can't multiply with any other matrix. Why? Because this two cross two. If you multiply with this, it is not possible because this is one. This becomes two. Multiplication is not possible. If you multiply with this with this, multiplication is possible, but the output will be. For two cross two, that is, if you multiply B with A, the output will be two cross two. That is not possible. Similarly, if you multiply this guy, or let let let's make things simple. Actually, let me call this as A, this as A dash, this as B, and this as B dash. Correct. So now the four, four pos, uh, all the possible combination will be right here, and I'll show which is possible. Which is not possible. You can multiply a, a B is one possible option. A B dash is one possible option. A dash B is one possible option. A dash B dash is one possible. Option. Other way around, same thing. B A B dash A B A B dash B. So we have a possible. Combination. So let's see which all is feasible. If you're talking about A and B, if you multiply A and B, this guy is two cross one. This guy is two cross one. So the tail of this is one, and the head of this is two. This is not matching. I told if you multiply two matrices, the tail of first and the head of first will match. So this guy is not matching. So this guy is cancelled. If you try to multiply A with B cross, you get two cross one, one cross two. Multiplication possible? Yes. But the final matrix you get is two cross two, correct? But the final matrix which we have is one cross one, so this is not a possible option. Also, similarly, let's take A B. A B we took right. A B sorry, this is A dash B. A dash B. This guy you multiply with B. One cross two, two cross one. Multiplication possible? Yes, because this is two and this is two. Matching and the multiplication possible first thing. Second thing, what is the final matrix? One cross one. Correct. Since the final matrix is one cross one, that is possible. So this guy is possible for us. So let me put it. Wrong. Let's take a dash b dash. We take a dash and b dash. One cross two, one cross two, two and one not matching. Multiplication itself is not possible. Let's try b a. Two cross one, two cross one. Multiplication not possible because this guy and this guy is not matching. Not matching. B dash A one cross two and two cross one. This two two and two is matching. Since they are matching, we can multiply. Also, the final output is one cross one, and that is what we are looking for. So this is also possible. Let's try B A cross. What is B? B is this. A cross is this. Two into one. Two into one. Not possible because this is one here. This is two here. It's not matching. So matrix multiplication itself is not. Sorry, this is this is. Sorry, this is B dash A or yeah, this is 
B A dash. B A dash. B A dash. Sorry, multiplication is possible B A dash because one and one is matching, but it is two cross two output. So it is not of use for us. Similarly, B cross B dash A dash. B dash is this. A dash is this. Both are one cross two matrices. So multiplication is not not possible because this guy is two here. The tail is the two here, and the head is one here. So multiplication is still is not possible. So I spend more time on this just to explain the concept. We can take any of these. A dash B. If you take that is this guy and this. So if you say X and three thousand minus X and you multiply with B, that is seven five. This is equal to a matrix eighteen hundred. So this equation is true. Also, if you take B dash A, that is you take this guy. You say seven five, and you multiply this guy with this guy. X and thirty thousand minus X. This guy will also give you eighteen hundred. So both the equations are true actually. Both the equations are true, and we can take any of this equation. We can solve using any of this equation, and we can get the value of S. The main thing here was to formulate this equation out of eight possible combination. Only two possible combinations are true. So we can take any of these. So let me take any M. Okay, let me take this guy. This guy. So I get for taking second part. This this one I am taking. This becomes seven. We take horizontal and vertical. Seven x plus or seven by hundred x actually because it's seven percent. So everything is percentage here. This guy is also by hundred. This guy also by hundred. Everywhere it's by hundred only. Please note that just seven percent. Let me write here. It's all by percent. So seven percent is equal to seven by hundred. Seven by hundred x plus. Five by hundred into thirty thousand minus x is equal to eighty. So if you solve this, what you get is two x is equal to you get this becomes eighteen thousand. You multiply hundred this side. Minus five into three fifteen, one two three four. That is three one two three four. Or you get x is equal to fifteen thousand. So if you have x is equal to fifteen thousand, the next lot is thirty thousand minus x. That is thirty thousand minus fifteen thousand. That is also fifteen thousand. So you divide money in this fashion. Fifteen thousand for Seven percent and fifteen thousand for five percent, and if you do so, you get eighteen hundred as your interest. Very simple. The critical part was this, which I think you understood clearly, and you can solve this. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.